Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome to another episode of Deck of the Week. Uh, this week, I've actually decided to do things a little differently. Um, I'm working inside of Magic Workstation, where I've created um, actually a couple decks, and I decided to actually do two decks this week. And um, since I missed it last week and I have one coming up, I decided to go ahead and do two decks. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give you a run through of the decks and then I'm going to be doing some play testing with my friend a little bit later. I'm going to play the two decks against each other, play a match of it, and then the winner of that I'm going to play against a couple other decks, probably like a, a mono red deck, a top tier deck, and maybe like Eldrazi Green or something, or a control deck. But um, start off, I'll let you know what the decks were. The first one that I have up right now is a green-white aggro metalcraft deck from Mr. Donut. And then the other deck is going to be an infected solution deck from Tactics Elf. And I picked these decks because I thought they were some interesting concepts. I don't know exactly how well they're going to work, but I like the idea of some of the stuff in them. Uh, especially the Solution deck, but I'll talk about that when I get there. Um, so let's go through the list here on this deck. This is the Metalcraft deck. It has six forests, six plains, four sun petal groves, four razor veg thickets as the lands. Then the, for the uh, creatures, we have four Mimnites, four Glint Hawks, three Stone Forge Mystics. Three Carapis Forgers, four Azuri's Brigade, which a lot of people seem to like that card, uh, four Indomitable Archangel, and four Ornithopter. Then for our spells, we have two Mox Opal, two Dark Steel Axe, one Basilisk Collar, three Glint Hawk Idol, one Sword of Body and Mind, it's a card I really like, uh, one Sword of Vengeance, and four Tumble Magnet. Um, there isn't a whole lot of trickery in this deck, or like neat things, but, well, not neat things, but like there's not any super creative awesome combos that like soup just win, but it's not really meant to be a combo deck, it's an aggro deck. It's a, um, like I said, a metalcraft deck, it relies on getting three artifacts out quickly with cards like Mimnite or Mox Opals. Or let's see what else. Stuff. Or the uh, ornithopters because they they're all zero costing, so those can come down on the first turn with another artifact like a dark steel axe or a basilisk collar. And then on turn two, they can uh, bring out their second, their third artifact, which will get them to their metal craft. Which then they're going to be casting four fours for two, uh, eight eights for four. Um, Let's see. Or the uh, Indomitable Angel is going to be activated, and it's going to make all those artifacts that you have have Shroud and uh, protect them. So that's kind of the idea of what the deck is going to do. Um, some stuff I like. I like the equipment. I don't know about the Sword of Vengeance because I never really played it, but I have used Basilisk Collar before. I love that card. Um, I love Sword of Body and Mind. I've seen both those played in the Boros decks, and those seem really good. Um, I don't know about Tumble Magnet. Um, I realize it's an artifact, and that's why it's in there. Uh, I like I liked it in Sealed, but um, I'm not exactly sure how great it would work um, in Standard, but we'll find out when we do some testing, I suppose. But it is another artifact. Not really any ways to put counters back on it, though, I don't think. So once you've used it, it's used up. No. Nope. Um... And then Dark Steel Axe, just just a pump. It's more of the early artifact play. So it's pretty simple deck. Play early dudes fast, and then like you know your big dudes are Azuri's Begrade and Domino Archangel. And then you use your Mystic to search for your equipment, and then use the equipment on your creatures to make them bigger, and actually be able to use them. Like your Memnite's just a one-one, but with your equipment, you can actually uh, make them useful. You kill creatures and block with them. Uh, same thing for the Ornithopter. He's not going to be attacking by himself, but once you get an equipment on him, then he'll be doing um, some damage in the air. 
So a uh, neat little concept here. That's uh, basically the gist of this deck. There is no sideboard. So I'm going to go ahead and open up other deck, which is the Infected Elysian deck. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and run through this one. It's got four Creeping Tar Pits, four Dark Slick Shores, four Drowned Catacombs, four Islands, six Swamps, two Icar Rats, four Plague Stingers, uh, two Necropedes, four Cilician, two Trinket Mage, and then for spells, there's four Everflowing Chalice, four Tainted Strike, four Chimeric Mass, four Grafted Exoskeleton, four Heavy Arbalest, two Distortion Strike, and two Virulent Swipe. Uh, basically what this is, is an Infect deck. All our creatures here have Infect. Um, he has Infect, and um, he puts Poison Counter on each player. Uh, we got a 1-1 one, one Infect. Infect with, um, when he goes in the graveyard, he put a 1-1 one, one Counter on a creature. But he's just basically another Infect dude. Uh, Solution doesn't have Infect, but I'll get back to that. And then the Trinket Mage comes in, and I assume it's meant for searching for overflowing chalice or chimeric mass, which will be used to basically pump each other. But uh, I don't really know that I really like the trinket mage in there for that. There's probably other things that could be used. Um, but I don't know. We'd have to have to test it and see. But yeah, like that. Upon first glance, I think the trinket mage is the least exciting thing. So I don't really see what it's biggest targets are, you know, by the time you get three mana, you're not really going to want to search for an ever-flowing chalice, I don't think. Nothing in this deck's really that expensive, except for the Chimeric Mass, which would be another target to search for, but I don't know, it seems like a lot of mana to try to sink into it, but I guess it is a big guy that you could use towards a late game if you need it. Um, but really, he's just a big dude, if you have it. Um, there isn't I don't think there's any way to add counters. Nope. So he's just he just is what he is. Um, Virulent Swipe can be good with the infects because if you get a you only have to do ten damage to win with poison counters. So if you get an um, if they choose not to block, you know, with the one one, then you use the virulent swipe and then it becomes a three three one and that's three counters and that's a pretty big chunk when you're trying to get to ten. I like the distortion strike <coughs> because it um, because it's unblockable because of the rebound. Like even without the pump ability, I think that's pretty good. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work in standard. Same thing for the virulent swipe. But I did play both of these in a sealed deck um, during the launch, and I enjoyed playing these cards a lot. So I like to see those. Um, the combo there's a combo in this deck that's kind of an instant kill. Is the heavy arbalest and the Cilician, what you do is you equip the Arbalest onto the Cilician. That gives him the ability to where you can do two damage to a creature or player by tapping them. And then you do two damage and then pay one blue, untap and do another two damage. And you could just kill him straight up like that, but if you have a, where is it? If you have a grafted exoskeleton out, where you uh, you can give your solution infect and plus two plus two. Um, I mean the plus two plus two is not really going to matter for that, but mainly you can give your solution infect. So every time he hits for the two damage from the arbalest, it's two points of infect. So if you have four mana to untap him, the solution, then that's ten total infect damage, and that's instant death. So if you have those three card combo, you can kill him uh, instantly. There is also a the Tainted Strike, which gives the creature Infest as well, or Infect. If I've been saying Infest, sorry, I meant Infect. Um, so if you have, if you don't have the equipment and you have this, then you could give the Solution Infect to the end of the turn for the one mana, and then use the four mana to untap him a few times and hit him with the Arbalest and be an instant kill. So that's uh, I thought that was kind of neat, neat combination there. Obviously, it's going to cost a bit of mana because you got to play the Arbalest for three mana, equip it for four, or play for three mana, uh, play the Solution and then equip it for four. And the Solution's five. If the Solution was like three or four, I think it might be a lot better, but it is a neat concept. So um, that's why that's 
pretty much the reason I picked this deck. And so um, I also want to see how a poison or infect deck would do. Uh, another thing is that the creeping tar pit here is unblockable. So if you give him infect with uh, equipment, then uh, like if you equip your exoskeleton to him, then he's a 5-4 unblockable. Two hits with that and it's game over because he has infect. So that can be a pretty cool combo too. I do like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is a little bit later I'm going to be uh, testing these decks against each other with my friend and uh, whichever one of, like I said, whichever one of those win I'll be doing tests against other decks. Um, I will put the annotation on this video to link to the first gameplay from the match and then each of those will be linked together as I add them up. This video is, um, I'm sure you already, since you already found it, you know, but it's in the random videos where it's, it's going to be, and then all the other videos are going to be in the MTG Playtesting Online category right here, so you can find all those there, but they won't be in the, the regular playlists. Um, while I'm here, before I go, I'd like to make one other announcement, and that is that I have my gaming channel up and online, and all my links up here work, so if you want to go to Facebook or my blog, you can click right here for either of these. Uh, here is my blog. I only put one uh, entry, kind of explaining what's what I what it's for. But I'll be using this for just kind of updates or talking about decks or games or whatever, because this is for both my channels. And then they'll have links up here back to those. And then over here, I have my other. Let me stop that. I have my other channel, which is Clot Squared. And right now, um, there's only two videos up. They're just old montages. Um, the channel won't really be officially um, getting videos to it until Christmas. Uh, I mentioned in my comment down here. But uh, it's because that's when I'm getting my HD capture card. And then I'm going to start uh, making a lot of videos. But I figured I'd go ahead and put up a couple of videos here so you guys can... Uh, have something to watch and I would encourage you all to go and subscribe to my new channel. Uh, it's going to help me out a lot because I want to uh, build this channel up just like I've built up uh, my magic channel and do both of them. Um, as you can see I've got my banner back here ready to go whenever I do get the partnership. So yeah that's that would be that and I'd say that's pretty much it. So um, I'll see you all when I uh, start doing the testing. See you all later.